مساء المشاهدين اهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقه جديده من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الاعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقه ان نستضيف نخبه من رجال الاعمال المتميزه اخترنا لكم اليوم مستر سلمان نعيم سي او او اوف برايم بروبرتيز فاكيشن هومز مستر سلمان ويلكم وي ار جلاد تو هاف يو توداي ان اور شو وي ود لايك يو تو انتروديوس يور سيلف فور اس ذا تيم اند فور اور اودينس اوكي ماي نيم از سلمان I was born in Pakistan. From Pakistan, I did my studies till matric, which is uh, 10th grade. After that, we came to Dubai in 2004. And from there, my journey started in Dubai. I did my studies here in Dubai in Pakistan Education Academy. From there, once I finished my studies till FSC, which is uh, 12th grade, mm-hmm. I went to South Africa to do my pilot career. As a commercial pilot, I spent there almost three and a half years to finish the course and everything. After that, I came back to Dubai and from Dubai, I went to Fujair Aviation Academy where I did an instructor job for almost six months. And from there, I went to Pakistan again, back to Karachi. Mm-hmm. I did over there almost one and a half year as an instructor. Perfect. So a huge career, to be honest, till yeah. now uh, you are... You have gone to South Africa, you have came to Dubai, you have came to Fujera. So tell us more about what inspired you to start up the business here in Dubai. Here in Dubai, when I got fed up of everything, the jobs and all those things, I started this business in 2015 mm. with a very uh, low investment. I already invested almost around 20 to 30,000 dirhams in total which includes the licensing fees and all those mm-hmm. things. Once I started this business, I only had uh, eight apartments. The concept of our uh, company, I will uh, just l- give you a briefing about it. Mm-hmm. Mr. Salman, we would like to know more about the services that you provide for the customers. Okay, what we are providing is we are giving customers an opportunity to take apartments on monthly basis rather than being in a liability to give checks for a yearly basis because there are too many uncertainties in Dubai. People don't have a basic job which is gonna be permanent for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So people are kind of scared that if they lose a job, what kind of liabilities they are putting themselves in. Like if you take an apartment for a yearly basis, you are giving four checks in there, Mm -hmm. which is a huge liability. Let's just say after six months, you don't have a job. How are you going to pay those expenses? You don't have money. Your job is gone. Where do you stand? You'll be going to the courts. The checks are mm-hmm. going to get bounced. So to be a hassle-free time for them, what we are providing is we are giving them a monthly studio apartments and one-bedroom apartments, which are totally furnished. You don't have to bring anything with you. Just bring your luggage and start staying in it. It's like a home away from home. Mm-hmm. That's how it is. Yeah. That's the concept. So. And we are providing them all the maintenances, whatever there is a leakage or any problems inside the apartment, we are the one who are handling those situations. So you're doing everything. Exactly. Basically. They don't need to worry about anything. All they need to worry is after a month, they need to pay the rent. That's it. Which is above for the market price, one or two thousand dirhams. But that's bearable. More safer. It's that's safer. more safer. Yeah, exactly. Because imagine if you are working for a private company and suddenly you go there and you have a resigning letter placed on your table. Yeah. Where what do you stand? Do? What can you do? What can you do? In here, what you can do is you can just give us a heads up one week before and you can just take your luggage and you're free to go. That's it. We don't ask you anything. There is a security deposit which we refund back. We take certain amount of amount from that deposit to clear our funds. Mm-hmm. But the rest is yours. Mm-hmm. We are giving people an ease to live in Dubai and enjoy the luxury life which people are only imagining about in a very comparable and reasonable prices. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a help for people. Like mostly clients of mine, they are from Europe, Mm -hmm. from Egypt, these Mm -hmm. Gulf areas and uh, Pakistan and India is a huge client for me. They, uh, they, when they come over here, they are looking for jobs. They only have three months of uh, visa. They cannot take a place for a one year. Of course. So they need for those, that time period, if they take a hotel, it's going to be way expensive. 
yeah. which is unbearable for someone who don't have a job and he came on his own expenses to Dubai to look, look, for, to look for the job. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they really like to take our places. The one which we have in international city, my mostly client in international city is Pakistan and India, mm -hmm. not for other people because right. they, they can afford this. It's a reasonable prices. Like for studio, we are giving only for 2,500 dirham per month, mm -hmm. which is very reasonable price in Dubai. You don't get anything in 2,500. So basically, it's uh, the, the hotels will be more expensive. Yes. In this case, you will have a reasonable price and it's, it's a much safer environment for those who are scared of losing their job. Of course, uh, Mr. Salman, before we started our meeting, you told us that you were one of the Let's say you started this business here in Dubai. Yes. So we would like also to know what was the idea and how did you get this idea? It's a really unique idea. Yeah, it is. Uh, we were actually having some units in international city. When this company was going to be built, we were already doing this business with four or five units. But at that time, there was no certain license or something for this. It was just uh, some people knew about mm -hmm. it. They used to come to us like a reference. They used to mm -hmm. take the apartment. But in uh, 2015 August, mm -hmm. they started this new license. This is known as DTCM license, Dubai Tourism. Mm -hmm. So under that license, we took that license. We started a new company and we registered these apartments with DTCM. You have to do that to be secure because of course once you're doing some business you need to be secure from your side as well so what they are providing us is a security that if someone is not paying the rent they are the one who's going to bring the police and take them out gently and whatever the situation is yes. going to be so we were the second person to take this license and uh, we started this uh, company in 2015 12th of august i still remember the day mm -hmm. Because a special date, of course. Exactly, yeah. it was a very special day. We were only uh, two people in the company. One was my accountant and the other one was me. Mm -hmm. We couldn't hire anyone at that time because the expenses were already hitting the fan. And this was a new business for me. I had no experience whatsoever. So once gradually we started doing it, after four or five months, we started earning a good amount. So we were able to keep two, three more employees just like operation manager because this business is almost like a hotel business mm -hmm. you need a whole team to run this business and this business is only good once you're doing in bulk mm -hmm. once you have only have eight or ten apartments you might lose some amount because there are always people who don't like to pay yeah. there is uncertainty in every yeah, business this course. is our uncertainty mm -hmm. in each apartment the margin of profit is very low so if somebody doesn't pay you for a month, your 10 apartments profit is gone. <laughs> you can just keep yeah. it that in mind, it's already gone. So what our aim was once we started this company, our aim was we need to go at least two to 300 apartments so that we can bear the loss if we get some. Mm -hmm. Once we uh, started this in 2017, we all were, almost we were at 120 apartments. We had those. We are dealing in Discovery Gardens, uh, in JVC, I have in Marina, in International City, in Silicon Oasis. Mm -hmm. These are our main so places. Almost, almost everywhere in Dubai. Almost. almost everywhere in Dubai, wherever is reasonable. Mm -hmm. Because people mm -hmm. always like things which are reasonable and they are according to their luxury style. Of course. We always take places which are close to luxury, but affordable. Not, not luxury. <laughs> But affording, uh, yeah. like if you take Discovery Gardens, uh, in that area there is JLT, JBR, mm -hmm. Marina, which are peaking the heights. Mm -hmm. Living and in JLT Marina it's, right now, it's uh, it's yeah. not a piece of cake. Of course. But if you're living in Discovery Garden, you can still enjoy the life of JLT. You can still enjoy the life of Marina. You can go on walks and well, all those things. It is very convenient. So once we started this uh, 130, when we hit the, that target, we sat with my i sat with my father and uh, we planned on making investors to invest in our company so that we can build more we can grow more in that case in 2018 we'd be planning on it uh, 
Corona started hitting us. That's a big problem for that these kinds of business. That was a very disaster for us. Uh, we couldn't uh, collect rents because Corona was there. We were not able to go out. Mm -hmm. Whoever is wire transferring us the money, he was doing that. Mm -hmm. We lost a lot in that year. We lost almost almost forty percent of our business oh my God. in that year. But we said we were very positive that these things are gonna get normal again and uh, insha alhamdulillah in 2020 if i'm not wrong in 2028 the end of december the things went very good mm -hmm. in 2021 we started getting our investors we pulled our investors money inside and we were giving them a very good rate uh, i'm providing them 15 percent per annum and uh, two years contract is there and with them, I started building very gradually. In 2021, today is 22. In one year, I am at 280 apartments. So that's so a huge number since that's the a beginning. Huge number. Exactly. So from eight to 280, it's, it's a huge. It needs, let's say, it needs a good quality. It needs a good to, quality. To it needs, it needs a dedication. Mm -hmm. I worked uh, so hard. I have no since 2015. I have only went to Pakistan once. Mashallah. So you I'm are, not you are really to focused. Pakistan. I'm very much focused. I want to achieve my goal. I want to make it 1,000 apartments so I can get out of Dubai and go globally like Europe hopefully, and all those hopefully, places. Inshallah. Hopefully one day you will reach your goal. And I'm sure inshallah. that uh, if you put the effort in something, you will eventually reach your Allah goal. Allah is the one who's going to give everything. Course, he sees course. efforts of everyone. Of course. It's, uh, it's, it's in the head of God. Exactly. So... The competition here, even if you are the first one, that's competition that uh, here is uh, very nominal, if I must say, because mm -hmm. uh, people who are in this business mostly don't have any vision, to mm -hmm. be very honest. What they are doing is they are only fulfilling their demands, that's it. whatever office expenses, house expenses, these are gone perfectly fine. And my idea is very genuine. Mm -hmm. I most people, what they are doing is this business is they are taking the apartments and management. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking apartments in management. I'm taking 100% risk. I'm taking apartments from the owners directly on a yearly basis. So whether people pay me or whether my apartments is I empty, I day. still have to pay to the owner. Mm -hmm. So that's 100% risk. But I'm willing to take that because I have that kind of experience. I have done those things. I so I team. know how to. Exactly. Have I have team. a team. I have operational manager. I have maintenance manager. All people are working for me 24-7. This of department of operational manager is 24-7. Anytime anybody has problem, he is going to be there. I so, have two operational managers. Uh, so that is what makes you special than others exactly. in this field, of course. Uh, of course, you have talked a lot of the vision, but we need to hear it directly. What is your vision, let's say, for the next five years? Globally, let's say local, local. Globally. Uh, so tell us more about the vision for five years my plan to do is i'm gonna be sitting almost on 1000 units over here which is a huge amount at the moment my company is worth of 15 million dirhams Mashallah. and i'm generating a revenue of five to six millions every year Mashallah. so my plan to do these things in 2025 or 26 i want this revenue to be almost around 15 to 20 million why not? Hopefully you will do it. Sorry. And I'm pretty sure that if you started from zero and you have reached this level, exactly. you will reach a higher level, Inshallah. hopefully. Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, Businesses, I want to add one more thing. Businesses are always run with Nia. Yes. If you have a good intention. If your deeds are good, you have good intention, this business is never going to go anywhere. Of course. That's that's a good, uh, exactly. a good, a good example for how to be successful in life of course uh, dubai is one of the safest cities in the world so we would like you to tell us more about how can the this good thing bro the good thing about dubai is it's a hub yes. and the good thing about dubai other thing is there is too much security have you ever heard that somebody stole a car in dubai no way no way and they, if even if they thought about it they will never catch them before the in 2000 uh, since 2004 till now i have never locked the house of my uh, the door of my house no one does anyway. never and my cars are always started nobody likes to take it away <laughs> the security over here is unbelievable 
and that's what we want you know in our countries back in our countries the security is the very main issue mm -hmm. people are taking properties in our country where there is a gated security mm -hmm. there are guards over there that places are very expensive if you consider that in dubai they have given you a very very basic facility which is the most needed one in your life yeah once your security is done you don't have problem for your wife you or your kids focus. Exactly. you can focus focus in your business i have a i have a 3 years old daughter mashallah hopefully and you will i'm see her. i'm not afraid yeah. i'm not scared that she's going to get kidnapped or somebody is going to do a bad thing with her nothing like that you go to malls you go everywhere the security is unbelievable i really love this country apart from any many other things the security is the main reason people really love this country yes of course of course uh, we have reached this level of safety and security because of the great vision of the rulers of very course true, very true. we would like to give a big thank you for thank his highness you. sheikh mohammed bin rashid al maktoum no way bro the thing is that mr sheikh mohammed has a very big vision yeah it's not a small vision the way he acts and the way he performs his actions not anyone can do that of course he is a special gifted guy <laughs> to be very honest yeah yeah he's gifted he can predict things that he can. no one can predict to be honest i have listened to his some of his interviews i'm a very big fan of sheikh mohammed to be honest i like to do things according to him mm -hmm. i have listened to his uh, one interview of disneyland mm -hmm. if you don't know he went to there to meet the disneyland owner and he told him that make a big disneyland the biggest one in dubai and he refused it so what he did is he went back to dubai and he made dubai land <laughs> That's so the biggest. You want to to challenge me? I'm I'm for it. Exactly. I can do whatever. And I he want. Was, he is a very uh, nice guy in a way. He help his people a lot. Mm -hmm. The protections and the things we get over here, not in many countries are willing to do that. None of the countries. None of, them. None of the countries. The opportunities you have over here is way way big. If you if you really know how to work, your way of going up is very easy. Of course, yeah. It's very it's easy. the easiest place exactly to uh, get a successful uh, let's say uh, business the other, the other thing over there which I don't face over here I've been to Europe I've been to many places racism mm -hmm. of course here there is no racism Le racism is very much controlled here mm -hmm. there is no one no local can stand up in front of you and he can do a bad deed with you never They the court is going to listen to everyone because of the leaders to be honest they very are true. giving them this uh, attitude of you need to respect everyone These education and literation is a very big part in this of people course. are educated here look at saudi i went to saudi many times i have been to saudi the people over there are very rude it's uh, the uh, it's a powerful tool to be honest to to it is and to control this and the foreigners who are coming over here the population we have over here they, they all no are issues. educated of course they have no issues of course mr salman it was an honor having you today with our, you so much, our show same we voice. would like at the end of our interview of course to tell us how can we reach mr salman and how can we reach prime property you can reach to prime proper vacation homes uh, with our telephone number or you can have a location as well Our telephone number is zero four four two two six two one zero. If you want to reach me directly, you can contact on my mobile number, which is zero five five six three 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 seven two four. Of course, my dear viewers, contacting numbers and website will be down the screen. Thank you again, Mr. Salman. إلى هنا أعزاء المشاهدين نختم حلقتنا الأسبوعية مع ضيفنا المميز, Mr. Salman. تابعونا each Friday and Saturday on your channel ABC Arabia دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله